Uh, so I doubt that I'll uh, be getting many followers in here, and I probably will not uh, save this to publish. But um, I feel like uh, the vast majority of my followers are not even worthy of me interacting with them because they're so young. They're only uh, interested in me for novelty purposes of laughing at something and they don't even really uh, fully understand the things that I express. Over 90% of my followers are not really worthy of hearing what I say. They don't under understand it properly. Um, if there's anyone who uh, feels that they're up to the task of discussing uh, the some of the um, topics and subjects involved in my conflict with Frank and Jameson, please put a uh, message in the chat to request uh, that I can put you on and discuss it. Some of you uh, should be good enough for that. Um, is there a way for me to see? I'm not really seeing messages here. Um, so I'm going to just talk a little bit. I've already said that, you know, over 90% of my followers don't understand the things that I say. They don't, m most of my followers, this is also true of, just have they bothered trying to read uh, many of my many long posts or when my YouTube was up, did they bother watching many of my videos? So for at least the simple majority of my followers, uh, the answer to that is no, and it's probably the vast majority of my followers did not ever bother to read many of my very long posts or watch any uh, many of my videos. It all is like totally childish. So um, see, some of the things that I have had to realize are trying to guess how lacking the minds are of people in my audience. They, that they just don't have it. In most cases, you people are just so young you have very poor judgment. It's a matter of you've seen me by other meme pages posting me. So here's the guy, let's laugh at him because he looks like Milton from Office Space or Bubbles from Trailer Park Boys. So young people have this completely superficial and shallow level of perception of, every, of everything. It, when the fact of the matter is that when if if I talk to people, I'm talking over ninety percent uh, over the heads of ninety percent of people, and they'll be like, <laughs> like dumb punks. You most of you don't understand the things I say anyway. So, I have tried to deal with the conflict with myself and Frank James in, in Michigan properly a number of times over the years. They don't want to have to do it. They don't want to have to respond to a situation like this for multiple reasons. It's internet threats which have gotten worse over the years. Um, that alone makes it uh, something they don't want to have to take seriously. Um, it's interstate and he's crazy. And all three of those factors make this a law they don't want to have to enforce. That doesn't mean it's doing it right that way. They do it right sometimes if and when they want to in a completely unequal way. Now, if, if, if violating the law by giving, communicating threats angrily and the person themselves mean it, it should not be pursued as a crime and prosecuted as a crime. There should be no law to begin with that communicating a threat does violate. A lot of so many people have such shit for brains reasoning that they think it's giving threats is only a crime if you do something more than that in itself. If only doing more than that by actually going and trying to kill someone is the crime, then there should never be a crime a, a law in and of itself of communicating a threat being a crime. Okay? People's heads, it's worth nothing. 
thing. Okay? People's heads, as soon as you press that button, of calling someone a pedophile or a child molester, no matter how false it is, a lot, the majority of people's heads, goodbye, it's out the window, out to lunch. They don't know how to think anything right or how to say anything right. It doesn't even matter when you look at the fucking guy. He's a shit for brain psycho nutcakes. They still, it still works against you a little bit. Oh, people are calling you a pedo. Oh, and out to fucking lunch. People's heads are fucking worth nothing. Press that fucking button, oh boy. Ba-bing! Pedo, ba-bing! Tromo, ba-bing! Out to fucking lunch. Out, out, out the fucking window. Okay? Can't think anything right. Can't say anything right. It's the same thing with anything else. Threats. If you have to only take seriously a threat instead of it being a crime in itself to communicate the threat for it to be a violation of law and a crime that can be pursued as such, there needs to not be a fucking law on the books that communicating a threat violates. There is no, are we going to take this seriously involved in enforcing the law and that brings me to my other point nothing not a single fucking thing i have ever published even in 2015 and thereafter was me asking for help like i was making an emergency 911 call help someone's going to kill me now send the cops over to protect me nothing i ever published even from the get go in 2015 represented that when you people think that you're the ones who are doing it wrong by filling in a blank the wrong way and a retarded way even law enforcement does that when they when i called uh fbi reporting uh, public you know the, the most of you fucking sorry little bitches probably are afraid of calling public access phone lines for the FBI which are made available for the public to call you're too small to do that (laughs) report me I've told you fucking sorry bitches report me you fucking idiots but you're too small to do that the law enforcement treats if I if I was to present this again at any time with any new threats that Frank has, has repeatedly communicating uh, communicated threats he talks about it as if it's only in the past i had a case every new instance of him giving a threat is a new added amount of his crimes against me if i was to i i don't even go to the police anymore because i know that they're only interested in getting rid of me they treat it as are you afraid of him what do you want us to do about it what do you expect of, from us? Are you afraid of him? Where is he? How do you know him? Is there a relationship? Are you afraid of him? Well, I'm not taking it seriously. And they want to ignore you. They'll pretend they do an investigation. They, they'll take a perfunctory report in which they don't even get more information from you. They do the minimum to, of filling out a form. And they won't call you back. If you call them back, they'll, they'll give you more mouth shitting. Okay? Taking it seriously isn't any thing involved in do performing the basic function of law enforcement. You don't have to think about, well, does he mean it? Well, is he going to travel to, to, to Virginia to try to kill Lawrence? There is a law that he has already violated, you fucking morons. Give, communicating the threat is already a violation of law, you fucking idiots. The basic function of law enforcement isn't protecting the person if someone is going to try to kill him. He has already committed a crime, enforced the law. Nothing, not a single fucking thing that I ever published, even starting when I started talking about this in 2015, ever represented. Help, help, this is like a 911 call. I'm afraid, and he might come over and kill me. Send someone to protect me now. No, that's never what I did. What I always was doing from the start is 
this already represents a violation of law and crime, and so he should be in, he could be and should be prosecuted for having already committed a crime of communicating a threat. If communicating a threat isn't a crime, there needs to not be a law on the books that doing so violates. It does not depend on anything more, you fucking idiots. Now, let's get this straight. Do you think there ever has been cases that have been prosecuted for communicating threats in and of themselves without attempting to carry it out? If you're not a total moron, you'll know the answer to that is yes. So, try thinking. Try starting to think, you fucking morons. By the time it gets into court, and yes, they're prosecuting the violation of the law for being a violation of law and crime that it is, by the time that it gets into court, is the, there a threat of them carrying it out? No. But they're still enforcing the law, you fucking morons! So the defendant is sitting in court, and they're explaining <coughs> and presenting... <coughs> and presenting whatever form of the exact evidence of whatever they had commun communicating as a threat that constitutes a violation of law. At that point, it should never go into a court of law if you only have to, I decide if I'm going to take it seriously. Are they really going to go there and try to kill the person? It is never necessary to prosecute the communicating of a threat as the violation of the law that it already is you fucking morons so when they're in court and they have prosecuted cases of threats the absolute defense could be but i never tried to do it and then they would always be a not guilty verdict no you know why that's not so because the crime is already committed by communicating a threat you fucking morons Am I going to take it seriously? He's already committed a crime. It's already a violation of law. If they don't want to treat it as a violation of law that it already is, you don't have a fucking law on the books that it constitutes a violation of, you fucking idiots. In December of 2016, I got an FBI agent from the uh, uh, Norfolk Field Office here. I didn't, I didn't get it by, uh, by me asking so or trying to make it happen. They did so because I was calling those fucking losers on the public access phone lines often enough. Uh, and jacking up those losers that uh, Catherine Weir on Friday, December 16th, 2016, uh, along with a uniformed Virginia Beach uh, City police officer, uh, visited me. Soon after I started talking to her, <laughs> I realized she wasn't investigating Frank Jameson for his violation of uh, interstate communications of U.S. Code federal law, uh, Title 18, Section 875, Subsection C, of interstate communications. Okay, they weren't investigating him. They were investigating me. So she told me in the course of my talking to her that she understood that my talking with the losers on the FBI uh, public access phone line did not not constitute a threat. So I told her that back. Anyway, uh, I, I uh, so, so her main, it's her main excuses to me was, and she wanted, she, she thought this was, sounded pretty good. She wanted me to accept this like this is good stuff. He's crazy, Frank Jameson. We're busy. I told her those are no constraints of mine. She didn't have a warrant. I invited her in to talk to her anyway. I showed her uh, one of the returned envelopes I had mailed to the special agent in charge in Norfolk Field Office at the time, Martin Culbreth. Most of my things that I, I had sent to him in the letters in December of 2016 got through, including by fax and the regular uh, U.S. Uh, postal mail and, and UPS. I did it very redundantly that way. Uh, only one of them, the last one to get there, was returned to sender and so I still have that manila envelope uh, that I had uh, with the with the letters inside that I'd mailed to him she wanted to take that from me and I said no I, this is my proof uh, she also wanted to get my IP address I told her to get a warrant so she uh, when I told her that he, he Frank Jameson has already uh, violated federal law interstate communications she knew exactly what I was talking about 
Again, her excuses that she gave to me, like she wanted me to accept them, like that's good. I'll be good with that. I'll be okay with it. Is he's crazy. We're busy. Imagine this fucking twit there without a warrant. And instead of Frank Jameson stress to me, they care about. They care about me jacking up the fucking loser idiots who aren't even in the FBI who act as glorified uh, phone answering service for the FBI public phone lines. And I'm jacking up them up to the point of them caring to want to try to get something to use against me. Even though that she even admitted she knew that I was being careful and what I did did not constitute a violation of law on my part in talking to those losers at the FBI phone lines. So she wanted me to be good with Frank Jameson and him definitely. He, he'll even admit that he, he, he means to be threatening, which is the highest standard of burden of proof for intent of giving threats. Does the person themselves mean it as being thre threatening? Uh, the other person feel threatened? Not carrying it out, not doing more than that. She wanted me to be okay with her saying to me, he's crazy about Frank Jameson. Well, he's crazy. Well, we're busy. That's how that's that's supposed to be good enough for you to think that law enforcement doesn't have to fulfill its obligations and duties for upholding the law. That's good enough. Well, he's crazy. We're busy. You're worthless failures if that's supposed to be good enough excuses. If there if there ever cases that have been in trial as cases that have been prosecuted for communicating the threats in themselves without anything further taking place? The answer to that is yes. Why would it ever happen if it's necessary to your judgment, your own, your own call, your own personal feelings, your own personal feelings? Do I take that person seriously in, 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 in terms of are they going to carry it out? You see, the violation of law is already committed by the fact that there is a law concerning giving threats that it violates. If you think, does he have to actually carry it out and try to kill a person for it to be any crime, you're, you're shit for brains. There is a law concerning giving threats. The giving of the threats themselves constitutes a violation of that law, you fucking morons. Law enforcement's basic function is enforcing the law, not running to you to protect you from a crime committed against you. In fact, they want, police want, have, and use a law that protects them from having to protect you that way. So nothing I have ever presented in publishing online was... Oh, it's just, this is like a 911 call. Help me, I'm feeling afraid for my life. Come and protect me now. Nothing I ever presented to law enforcement meant that either. But they treat it that way. Everything I have presented, when I, whether it was I published online, in, in social media, or anything else that I published online, has represented this. He has already committed a crime he should be prosecuted for. It. That's not help me. I'm afraid for my life. And it isn't necessary in order to treat it as the crime that it already is by communicating the threat with the highest burden for intent concerning giving threats is that he himself means it as he threatens the other person the intent to threaten only nothing more than that if this communicating a threat isn't a crime there needs to not be a, a, a law that it represents a violation of so nothing I have ever posted online or published online was help 911 I'm someone's threatening to kill me come over now and protect me Nothing I published online represented that. Nothing I ever presented as a complaint to law enforcement, the police in person, or in any other forms of communication I have attempted to do so. And I have communicated with Virginia Beach City Police, Farmington Hills City Police, uh, Virginia uh, State Police, Michigan State Police, uh, county uh, level of Virginia, uh, is, uh, Virginia Beach is, is like a county. Um, and has its own sheriff's office. Um, the uh, a county in Michigan that Farmington Hills is in is called Oakland County. They have a sheriff, and also the FBI. Now, I not only was it uh, so nothing I had presented to law enforcement was 
Help, help, 911. I'm afraid he's going to come over now and kill me. It isn't necessary either. It's always been for both of those I am reporting what he's done constitutes a violation of law, enforce the law, and prosecute him for committing a crime. None of that is, help, 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 I, he's going to kill me now. No. When when someone says it's already a crime that he has committed, it's already a violation of law. Law enforcement is supposed to enforce the law. It's not, you know, well, we don't care about that. They do enforce the law to the letter of the law sometimes when they want to. It shouldn't be that way, and, and then we ignore it when we don't want to. Okay? Um, that's what the police do in bigger things than this either. And so they don't want to encourage any similar cases of internet threats. That ain't doing it right. That's not, 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 that's not me doing it wrong. That's you doing it wrong. Okay? Police will. Uh, other things that are... You, you talk about rape kits. A person has been raped. The, the, certain things have been tested from a woman. And some information has been taken. So those sit on shelves after a, a victim has reported that crime of rape and the vast majority of those never get fully investigated. That's how right the police do it. Okay? Some prostitute gets killed, murdered. So, so when, when some college girl gets raped and the cops don't even give a shit about pursuing the case, some rapist is out there who got away with it. So when some prostitute gets murdered... And the cops don't give a shit about pursuing it. There's some killer out there, a murderer, who got away with it. And they don't want to pursue that. Okay? This. Here, this. A cop can use that against you legally that you've threatened them. Now, there is actually not a separate laws. There are not separate laws concerning giving threats to law enforcement than there is to private citizens. It will be the same law that they use. There are separate laws, say, for example, in state uh, state uh, laws, bodies of law that represent state laws concerning giving threats to a governor and the members of his immediate family with the standard uh, of, of intent to convict being the same as any other threats and the maximum sentence being the same as, as any other threats, which is usually five years, both at a state level and a federal level. There is a... There is a separate law in, in, in U.S. Uh, code, federal law, concerning giving threats to the president and his family with the same standard of intent for giving threats as to anyone else and the same maximum uh, possible sentence of five years to anyone else. So the, when police or members of the law enforcement, such as a prosecuting attorney or a judge, these are the main three categories of uh, law, law enforcement and uh, persons in the justice system, police themselves, or a prosecuting attorney, or possibly a def the defending attorney who a uh, uh, person feel was uh, done wrong by the, the lawyer and, and uh, you know, burned them, you know, screwed them. So attorneys involved in it, especially prosecuting attorneys or judges or police, um, when they receive threats, even when it's spouting off, there's no relationship there. They don't have to be afraid of them. They they enforce the letter of the law very well when they, when they want to. There is no uh, do we take this seriously in order to uh, treat Frank Jameson's uh, violation of law as the violations of law that they already are by communicating a threat. That's not in law enforcement. That's what are we going to do? Uh, that's 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 a nice complicated shell game of them being able to say we can ignore you now because we want to. Um, enforcing the law is he has communicated a threat that represents a violation of law. It can be prosecuted. It should be prosecuted. I never went help help. He's going to kill me. Send protection now. Send Pete cops over to protect me now. Okay. <coughs> Reporting a violation of the law and expecting it to be enforced is the basic function of law enforcement. I never was making a 911 emergency call saying, I'm fearing for my life now. What are you going to do to help me now? Send the cops over now. No, I always have been. What he's already done already constitutes a violation of law and a crime. Enforce the law. Prosecute him. He means it as a threat himself. That's the highest standard. The old standard... <coughs> 
for intent to threaten was just the plain sense and ordinary meaning of the language that an ordinary person would attach to the meaning of the language conveyed in communicating a threat. And the newer standard is a subjective standard. As does the defendant, the person who gave the threats, mean as being threatening themselves from their own standpoint? Did they want the person who they gave the threats to to feel, 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 just feel threatened by them the, to cause any fear or intimidation? Frank will admit that yes, he does. He has violated the law. He knows the difference between right and wrong because he thinks I have wronged him with slander and various things. And he can he can talk about threats not being a crime if kidnapping is not also involved. He, he screwed up in the head and being wrong isn't a defense or an excuse or justification. So think about, think about this. Uh, Chris Doss. In Chicago, Illinois, the one who has harassed me in a number of ways, including uh, having doxed me, having uh, the pizza sent over at, at different times. He also doxed uh, the family I rent from. He's um, sent the, the abusive, phony copyright claims to YouTube that got my uh, YouTube channel taken down. He published false stories about me as if from... TMZ saying that the Nyan Cat personality girl has given me a restraining order. He's done all kinds of ridiculous things. He, uh, Juice World, uh, Juice WRLDV9 now, and other uh, usernames he's had before here on Instagram, uh, has uh, given <coughs> what can only be taken as. Uh, he has sometimes also posted what seems to be threats to a school, even posting uh, photographs of uh, weapons, firearms, and his language talking about uh, alluding to uh, an idea that he's going to go into some certain school and start committing crimes of, uh, you know, shooting people up. Now that's a whole different level of giving threats. And this person seems to be known... And nothing happened to that person. That's the one where the police are supposed to not ignore it. And are supposed to take it more seriously. Just as the having communicating that threat on social media. His language that he has used. He spread it to people. He was posting pictures of firearms. Such as AR-15s. And talking about that school. Like on Monday he's going to go there. And start shooting people. Shooting the place up and people up. Why didn't DOS... Chris Doss in Chicago, Illinois, supposedly 17 years old. He's harassed me many times. He's doxxed me in, in, in a number of ways he's harassed me besides the phony YouTube takedown. He's doxxed me in, in, in the pizzas and, and the phony TMZ story as if Nyan Cat has given me a restraining order and other things published about me as being a pedophile, which almost means nothing compared to all the other stuff you know that's involved in how I've been harassed. So he posted what's is able to be sensibly only taken can be taken as threats to a school that should be taken seriously categorically with the way he had posted it then there was no joke there he was posting photographs of ar-15s how come dos didn't have any any action taken against him over 90 percent of the of my followers have not read my many many of my long posts or watched many of my videos even when they were on YouTube. And they wouldn't understand them anyway. You're, most of you are not worthy of it. Okay? Cops want to get rid of a complaint without having to follow on with it. That doesn't mean they're doing it right. They're doing it wrong. <clears throat> Even my followers don't really engage me with in meaningful discussion. Most of my followers haven't got what it takes to. I show a, a, a thread. I give a link to a thread in the Google community for the YouTube help form. My thread there. I ask, please go there and tap on the upvote. And most of my followers are too small to do that. So when I said in a video of last year that uh, most of the, the young people online 
they're attracted to the conflict between myself and Frank Jameson of Michigan. Quite the same way that a, a moth is attracted to a flame. They, meaning you, they are not observing and knowing. They are observing and not knowing. It's, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Worthless trash. Now, 99% of you couldn't possibly uh, contend with me and engage with me in meaningful discussion. But you can type LOL or LMAO or LMFAO or any other punk shit. You know, bouge, sonar, ratio, or, you know, whatever. You can post memes. It's not much there in my followers, most of them. I probably have about a single digit number of followers who are worth anything and, and understand the things I say. <clears throat> Internet crimes have only gotten worse over the years. They really don't want to follow it for that. Did you understand what I said? Nothing I have ever published or represented in, 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 in my complaints to police represented. Help! Help! I feel threatened. He might kill me now, so come over and protect me. No, it never needs to be that. This one, this way is always, always should be good enough. I'm reporting a violation of law. I expect that the law should be upheld and, and the person who has committed the violation of law against me be prosecuted as such. Kind of sounds different that way, huh? Is, is, is there something serious about other small crimes, other, other small misdemeanors that other people have to feel is a serious crime in order for it to be treated as the crime that it is? Not really. More like not at all. You'd care about this if uh, the crazy person in a different state was the... Per you were wronged yourself many times for a long time by this person. Now, <clears throat> I get harassment from other people because punks believe the, the, the shit for brain psycho nutcase Frank William Jameson of Michigan. 43 years old. He was born in July 1978. So I, I'm, I'm going to identify myself now. I usually do it so many times I've, I haven't done it yet in this video. So a lot of traffic noise. I'm outside right now. I'll get I'll, I'll, I'll. Yeah. So. <clears throat> of course, I'm Lawrence Albert Connor of Virginia Beach, Virginia. I have reported this over the years, just not recently, not in at least a few years. I, I don't even want to approach the police again because I have to worry about how perfect does a person have to be and how they present themselves to the police or any law enforcement in order for them to take you seriously and just uphold the law and enforce a violation of the law as the violation that it is instead of wanting to get rid of you with any uh, thwarting antics and any frustrating you deliberately with horse shit. Because that's what I get. And if I tell them I have reported it before, years ago, that's that's even more so. They're going to be able to use that even quicker. Say, well, uh, 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 forget about it, dude. They don't. They when when they want to get rid of a person like me reporting this crime, they don't already know about it, and know that it isn't a violation of law that could be enforced. They know that they don't want to spend any time looking into it. They haven't investigated it and found that it's not worthy of pursuing and, and uh, upholding the laws, the violation of the law that it does represent. They know that they don't want to spend any time doing it. There's no investigation that's done. They just pretend so. They just want to get rid of you. So internet crimes have only gotten worse over the years. Okay? Internet crimes have only gotten worse over the years. So I don't even want to go to the police again because I have to worry about how, how, how perfect do I have to be in presenting this in order for them to actually act upon it properly instead of giving me any horse shit to get rid of me, which they have done before. It's just not recently. Um... So when, if, even when, if, if you actually have experience with the police and how they are, when you report a crime to them that they just give you nonsense and lies to get rid of you, then you're going to, you know, you, you don't, there's one side of that and then there's the other side of that. One side, one side, before you've done that, 
you think better of the police than they deserve. After you actually have experienced of that, that from the police, then you know better and you have learned the way they actually are. I get some punk who's treating me like a punk when they're the punk to me. They're just, it's just bullshit. So, none of you have would would be able to do better against Frank Jameson, no matter what crime he commits against you, except if it was he did literally show up and try to kill you. If it's over the internet, he's crazy and it's interstate. If he gives you threats or harasses you over the internet, what are you going to do? You will be able to do nothing about it either. Think about that. Did you think about what if he, you were the one who was the victim of Frank Jameson harassing you and giving you threats? He's crazy and it's interstate and he can get away with it. And that's really not right. Do you have to think about that before? Am I the person that it's okay to be the victim of Frank Jameson and he gets away with it? How about if Frank Jameson commits the same level of harassment and giving threats uh, towards someone else? Maybe Frank Jameson is the person who is enjoys immunity from legal prosecution. He can just commit crimes and get away with it, right? Or is that not true? Maybe I'm the victim that can be a victim of any crime from someone, especially Frank Jameson, and no one, no one gives a shit. Is that something that really has to happen for people to care about the crime in order for it to be uh, some small crime to be treated as the violation of law that it is? No, no, no violation of law needs to be regarded and treated as a more serious crime than it is in order for it to simply be treated as the crime that it is. So more, more serious crime is happening. Do you think that means the government and law enforcement and the justice system stops uh, enforcing smaller violations of law at any time just because more more serious uh, crimes are occurring? No, it that never happens. What matters is, is it easy for a jurisdiction or police and the justice system go, to go after a violation of law? They want it to be easy, the low-hanging fruit. If it's hard for them to go after it, they don't want to do it so much. The low-hanging fruit they'll go after whether it's small, the, the smallest of misdemeanors or even local ordinance infractions that are less than misdemeanors. They'll, there's no small crime that they will treat as if it's not a serious crime. Everything that they do prosecute is serious, no matter how small the crime it is. And they never stop enforcing law, no matter how small the violation of law is, even when more uh, uh, serious crime has occurred. So everything that the way people think about is, is shit for brains, idiot stuff. Law is not a popularity contest. Do you think they have to go around and, and asking people in, in, a, in, in a city or a town if someone cares about so-and-so having violated a, some small law and, and made a small crime? No, they, they ne never happens. How about, how about a cop is parked in the parking lot at a, at, a, at a bit of a distance away from an intersection? And there's no other traffic, and someone slows down at a red through through a red light and doesn't stop, doesn't come to a complete stop, but rolls through it. Cop goes out there and gives them a ticket anyway because it satisfies the letter of the law of not having a stop uh, completely. There literally could be no other traffic on the road anywhere near that intersection, and so it doesn't represent any threat like a a, 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 a public safety hazard. That doesn't matter, and, or any other small level of crime doesn't matter about whether by public popularity, some kind of popularity poll or something, do people care about some small crime. That they, they, If there's a violation of the law that constitutes a violation of the law, they can prosecute it. It's not a popularity contest. So when Frank Jameson gets away with harassing people or giving threats because it's crazy and it's interstate, that's not doing it right. He has violated the law. And they don't just don't want to, to, law enforcement and the justice system doesn't want to, even though they should uphold the law. That's not doing it right. None of you would be able to go after Frank Jameson for violating the law if he harasses you or gives you threats. Could you do it any better? Yes or no? None of the things that should matter does in my case. 
The things that should matter don't. The more that you learn about the police, the more that you learn there is something wonderful in nearly everything. Something wonderful in nearly everyone. Would any of you be able to do better when Frank Jameson wrongs you by harassing you or giving you threats? How about even when it's not interstate? Someone said that, that some people have been talking to Frank Jameson more recently saying they live in Michigan. So then that knocks out the interstate aspect of relevant. Frank Jameson gets away with stuff that no one else should be able to get away with. He, const- he continually and repeatedly has wrong boundaries, set, wrong boundaries set and reinforced as if they are the right boundaries. When you let him get away with, that, with stuff that no one else would or could or should get away with, that's not doing anything right. That's doing it wrong. Then he can keep on doing those same wrongs and harassing other people online and giving threats to other people online. He can engage in that behavior as, as, as effective and successful behavior. That's really doing it wrong too. I'm not the person that it's okay to commit crimes against. Frank Jameson is not the person that it's okay for him to commit crimes. Law enforcement doesn't want to uphold the law concerning threats. That's not them doing it right. That's them doing it wrong. Law enforcement and the justice system are something wonderful in nearly everything. Something wonderful in nearly everyone. So many things that the people think about this conflict between myself and Frank Jameson are things that are garbage, incorrect ideas and thoughts. Incorrect, not right, not true thoughts and ideas and thinking it's easy to go to that to you for you as an observer because you have no obligation to think or to say anything right anyway it doesn't affect you it doesn't involve yourself directly and personally you don't care about it because of that and other people not caring about that isn't anything important that would be the same thing as like do other people care about Someone having stolen something worth a thousand dollars out of a store. Some, so, someone, someone in a different town or a city in a different state got into a scuffle with someone else, and there was a, an assault and battery where the person wasn't permanently injured. That person can be prosecuted for it. Do you give a shit about it personally? Did it affect yourself directly? How about drug use? When drugs were illegal. Okay, when marijuana was a fucking legal, illegal, did people care about people smoking pot? It, law is not a popularity contest. It doesn't depend on whether people care about it. You would care about it if and when Frank, start, Frank Jameson starts to wrong you. I'm not the person that it's okay to commit crimes against. Frank Jameson is not the person that it's okay for him to commit crimes. Law enforcement just does not want to uphold the law concerning threats. That's not them doing it right. Law enforcement and the justice system. They're not doing stuff for you and for us as citizens. Something wonderful in nearly everything. Something wonderful in nearly everyone. Figure it out, people. You would not be able to do any better if Frank Jameson commits offenses against you that could and should be actionable for crimes and violations of law of him harassing you or giving you threats. You would not be able to do any better either. So I've been talking about Frank William Jameson, born July 24, 1978, of Michigan. Most of the time recently he has resided within Farmington Hills, Michigan, I myself am Lawrence Albert Connor. I was born on May 14, 1966. I'm originally from Connecticut, such as Suffield, Connecticut, when I was very young, or Windsor Lock, Connecticut, which is where I graduated high school from in 1984. And I have lived in Hampton Roads area of Virginia, such as Virginia Beach, for uh, for many years now. 
I'm going to save this even though it's not really all that uh, well done. I said a lot here. If anyone feels up to the task of actually engaging with me in discussion, you go ahead and do that. But most of my followers are young people who don't have good enough judgment, don't understand the conflict between myself and Frank Jameson adequately. And another thing, my posts that are besides the point of my conflict with Frank Jameson have no bearing on it. I can act silly in my posts when I want to make funny, funny posts. That doesn't mean I'm a fucking dipshit just because I'm able to act silly for the fun of it. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to save this. Thanks for watching.